Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth at the Noonan Carnegie Library and welcome to an online YA program. We are going to learn today to make an iPad sleeve out of duct tape and a matching wallet also out of duct tape. And for that you are going to need um, a cutting board or even just some cardboard that you can put your duct tape down on or something that the duct tape won't stick to preferably, so a cutting mat of some sort. Um, sometimes your mom might have a plastic cutting board in the kitchen that you can use or any plastic surface table that it won't damage. That would be good as well. Uh, different colored duct tape. I've got silver, purple, and uh, purple and different colored tie-dyed version here that I'm using. Um, something to cut with. I've got uh, an X-Acto knife, but you can also use scissors. Um, may get a little sticky, but the X-Acto knife works really well. And a ruler or some other way to measure your, your lengths on your duct tape. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a double-sided duct tape sheet that will be 10 inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm gonna do that by first laying down strips of duct tape 10 inches long um, and up to seven and a half inches on my cutting mat. And I'm gonna overlap them slightly so they stick to each other. And then I'm gonna flip them over and cover the other side with another layer of duct tape. So let me get that sheet laid down first. And I'm gonna make it slightly longer and trim down the edges. And I'm overlapping it just about a quarter inch so it'll stick together really well. Try not to let it stick to itself while you're doing that. Lay that down. We'll cover the. all right and so that's what our sheet looks like right now and I'm going to trim it down to make sure it's exactly the 10 by seven and a half that we need it to be so the little overlapping edges are okay because I made everything just a little long just to make it easy on myself for the trimming process later That's going to be the base of our wallet and we'll fold it so your bills can go inside and then we're also going to make some pockets for cards and those are going to be made out of two eight inch strips that'll be double sided in the same way and cut in half to make four four inch strips.
mix this. inch mark. There we go. So we've got two four inch pieces there. We'll do that one more time. Two more of those. Okay, so we've got all four of our strips and we've got our base wallet. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to start adding trim to the wallet and we're going to start with the top edges, which will be top and bottom of our 10 by 7 and a half sheet. And I'm going to use our contrasting color to do that. And what I'm going to do is, when I lay this piece down, I'm only going to cover, I'm going to lay half of it on so that it will be able to fold over the edge. see it's like that and then I'm going to fold it over so that it's even on each side it's not longer on either side. And then I'm going to trim that excess, even with the end of the wallet. And do the same thing with the other edge. So now we've got the edges of that trimmed. that in. Our next step is going to be to trim the pockets and add them into the wallet. All right, so we've got all four of our little pocket pieces trimmed. Now we're going to attach them to the wallet. 
And the first thing we're going to need is, because we're using wide trim, we're going to need to cut two four-inch pieces. And we're going to do that by cutting one four-inch piece that we cut in half lengthwise. And that's going to be used to attach the first two pockets to the wallet itself. There we go. Now give us a slightly skinnier. piece to use to attach the first two pockets. All right. Okay, so we're going to make this flush with the outside edge. Use our little piece to attach the bottom to the wallet itself. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other pocket on the other side. two pockets are going to be flush with the bottom edge. All right, so in our next step, we are going to take a narrow strip. So it's just a strip that we cut in half like we did for the uh, bottom of the first two pockets. And we're going to make it go along the edge of both pockets on the inside edge here. all the way to the top and it's going to overlap at the top of the wallet like that and then we're going to fold that in to the inside of the wallet to hold both pockets in place so that's going to hold both of those pockets in place and we're going to do the same thing with the pockets on this side Now we've got both pockets. Both sides have two pockets each, and they're being held in place. And then we're going to trim the outside edge of this wallet, and we'll be able to fold it in half like that. So we're going to take two four inch strips along this side and fold it over to hold the edges in place like that.
So we've got a completed wallet that'll hold cash. It'll also hold library cards and other cards in the center. You fold that over. You can carry it in your pocket or in your purse. So that's how you do your wallet. All right. Okay, so for the iPad sleeve, what we're gonna do is, we took, we took the measurements of the iPad that I have, which is about 10 inches by seven inches. And I have made two of the two-sided sheets just like we did for the wallet. This I made out of gray and purple. And one of them I made 11 by eight. And the other sheet I made 14 by eight. So that I've got a little wiggle room and also so that I've got enough to make a little overlap when I get ready to assemble this. So this was made exactly the same way we made the two-sided sheet for the wallet. And I'm gonna have the gray on the inside, purple on the outside, and I'm gonna use the colorful that I used in the wallet for my trim. So what I wanna do is I want to assemble these pieces together with that trim. And I'm gonna put one across the bottom and then one up each side. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim the top in a little curve right here. And I'm just gonna use this duct tape to make my curve and my X-Acto knife for that shape. And I've also got a piece of Velcro to use for the sticky on that. So this is gonna be a lot easier to put together than the wallet itself. This is a super easy craft. And you can make this for anything, for any tablet, any phone, you just measure the size you need and give yourself a little bit of wiggle room with that. So let me cut my shape out of the top here, curve my edges on my overlap. Always be careful using your X-Acto knife. They're super sharp. curve. I just used the curve of the duct tape to do that. Now what I want to do is use the trim color to assemble the two pieces together. Is long. There we go. I'm going to lay that down about halfway. There we go. And then lay the other sheet on top with the two gray sides touching. And use that trim piece to put them together. And then we can use the X-Acto knife to trim the edges a little bit. that together and then we're going to do the same thing down each side so we'll need that piece to be 10 inches run away actually 11 inches sorry because my 
short side is 11. So now what we've got is an envelope that your iPad will slide right down into, and we are going to attach the Velcro. So I leave that Velcro attached to itself when I take the stickies off, that way I don't have to worry about placement on that. And just center that in the center of the top, fold it down, and press it. And that gives you a Velcro closure. And now you've got a nice envelope to match your lovely wallet. Carry your iPad in. And like I said, you can do that with any size device. You can do it with your phone. You can do it with any kind of tablet. Just measure the device and give yourself an inch, half an inch wiggle room to work with. All right, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I hope you'll have fun learning to make all kinds of different things with duct tape.